Avengers. We worship the Lord. We bless His holy name today. Oh, it is so good to be in the house of the Lord. Oh, worship my name. Yesterday, eh? oh, bless the name of Jesus. But, but through the grace and mercy of God, He kept us. Ain't it true? Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord, for keeping me here today. Yes, and to be in the house of the Lord where I can lift up His name because He alone is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun and to the cold dawn of the same. Oh, thank you, Jesus. First of all, I must be the Holy Spirit, which is the head of my life. Next me to our worthy pastor, Pastor right here. Oh, give him my hand, man. Oh, he's worthy. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I remember all he just right here. Next me to our elders and the Our musicians. Members of Christ's body, visiting friends, little children, I bring to all in the wonderful name of Jesus. Today I just want to go to the throne of grace. Oh, bless the name of Jesus today. Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No other help I know. If thou would draw thyself from me today, oh Lord, where shall I go? Righteous and eternal Father, at this moment, oh God, I want to give you thanks. Oh, for your keeping care through all the past week. And today, Lord Jesus, I, I must give you thanks. As I stand here today to impart your words unto your people today. Yes, I'm asking you, Lord, let this word of my mouth be a blessing to someone. Yes. Lord, touch my lips that I can speak the word of encouragement. Lord Jesus, I pray, Lord God, that you will help each and every one. Lord God, that when we leave this service, Lord Jesus, yes. we will say it was a blessing to be here. Yes. Eternal Father, guide and protect each and every one of us. Help me today to go to. Give me the strength, oh God, that I, I ask you for. And I know, Lord Jesus, you're going to supply me with everything that I need. Hear my cry today when I take thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We bless the Lord. Amen. Today we have a topic here. Of Acts 12, the chapter of Acts 12. And today I just want to say the little thing that I had is, is deliverance. God is going to deliver each and every one of us. No matter what our situation might be, God is going to come true for us. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Acts of the Apostle written by Luke, this chapter records the death of the first apostle, James. Son of Zebedee, yes. followed by the impri imprisonment of Peter. But his miraculous escape from prison, prison King Herod called Agrippa mm -hmm. the first. In those days, the church was going through some tough times because the Jews used Herod to persecute the church. He used his heavy handedness against the church. My brethren and friend, he was related to Herod. You heard about Herod the Great. Remember him in the Bible when Herod the Great King demanded that all the male children do an honor be killed. He, he heard that the king, he heard that King Jesus was born. He was so afraid that he would lose his popularity. He felt chatting by the baby Jesus. So he went about saluting all the male children to one another. You see, my brethren and friends, how the evil family of Herod was. Herod and people come from the same dysfunctional and dark upbringing. Today, I want to tell you, he was vexed at the church. He harassed the church. No doubt, this was done by him because it was political, politically popular for the for Herod, my virgin and friend, who did not like the Christian. So, so they were not happy. My virgin 
and friend with the way the Christian life was going. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. In verse 1, it said, No, about that time, Herod the king of Herod, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. Herod Agrippa at, at this chapter was so bent and trying to bring down the leadership of the church. He was educated in rural Rome, but developed a good relationship with, with the Jews. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. He was popular with the Jews. And no doubt his desire to carry out even further favor with them. So that he began to attempt to destroy the church by wiping out the leadership. No doubt he said that if he could destroy the leadership, the whole movement would just crumble. So the Bible tells that he killed James. And verse 2 tells me he and he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. In those days, stoning, burning, strangulation, and beheading was well, the way they used to do their dirty works. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. My beloved ones, the Bible tells us that for the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's life, but to save them. James and John were called sons of thunder. This was because they, want, they were bold and aggressive in their personality. Maybe they were just doing this because they want to be seen as, as the Bible would have said. They wouldn't do that. Jesus, so Jesus to let them bring down fire from heaven to destroy a village. But they were, reject, were rejected. They were sons of Zebedee. Yes. James was with Jesus on special occasions. When Jesus was raising up Je Jehovah's daughter from the dead. Yes. And he was with Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration. At one time, their mother asked Jesus if Jesus could let her sons yes. sit at the right and at the left hand. Yes. But Jesus tell, them, tell her, it is not up to me. Amen. It is up to the Father who sent me. Yes. Oh, bless the name of Jesus today. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yes. Oh, thank you. Jesus questioned them if they were able to drink of the cup yes. that he was about to drink. Oh, bless the name of Jesus today. My brethren and friend, in their enthusiasm, they said yes. Jesus said unto them that they would drink of the cup. What? And it was prophesied by Jesus. This was fulfilled in this chapter. In verse 2, James was beheaded by the sword. It in the church was going on well. Having a lot of success, gaining soul for the kingdom. But the opposition Herod, inspired by Satan, again tried to undermine the work of the church. So they start to persecute the people of the church. James was not the first Christian to die faithfully to the Lord. Stephen was stoned to death in Acts 7. He said it was, he was martyred. Yes. The death of James shattered mine. You know when you have someone and someone died in your family, you cried and you moaned. So was it with the church. James was one of the twelve disciples. They thought they had divine protection. Yes. James in particular might have thought to be protected. He was one of the special ones. He was intimate with God. He was often mentioned with his brother John and Peter. Matthew 17 and verse 1. He said, Jesus warned them. He said, all followers of his, they will be, be persecuted. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves to be their wives as servant yes. and harmless yes. as a dog. Yes. But beware of men, yes. for they will deliver you up to the council that they search you into their 
synagogues. My brethren and friends, we have to be careful what we go through in this life. My brethren and friends, heaven was not doing this for the sense of right, nor to enforce justice, nor to protect the innocent, but his motive were for his own political gain. He desired to please the Jews. It can be dangerous, my brethren and friends, to try to please people. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Because sometimes when you try to please people, oh, bless the Lord, we cannot serve to master at the same time. You see, whatever we cannot do as they want us to do, you see a different side of them. Thank you, my sister. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. But let us please the Lord. Paul said that if he sought to please all men, he will not be servant of Christ. Herod was trying to please the Jews. The Bible tells us that in verse 3, and he became, and because he saw he pleased the Jews, he per perceived it first and further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. It was during the feast of the Passover that Peter was arrested. But according to the law of those days, during the time of the feast of the Passover, they could not have any child. So he determined to bring forth Peter yes. at the end of the feast yes. of Passover. Yes. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Yes. Her intention was to execute judgment on Peter. Yes. Not to the not at the end at the end of the period of the Passover. In verse 47, when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Today, my brethren, my beloved ones, Peter was in a predicament. He saw, he saw what happened to James. He was beheaded by the honor of Herod, by the sword. You see believers also sort of things may be going through his mind at the time. But you see when you put your faith in the walk with God, you will have no fear what man will do to you. Sometimes in this life we are judged wrongfully. We are criticized, accused, bad word and bruised, bad mountain by others. But don't worry. Still trust God. Yeah. When you are on your way rejoicing, yeah. the enemy is watching. Yeah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Yeah. To stop your progress yeah. for God. Yeah. But I want to tell you today that I have rooted and grounded yeah. in God. Jesus. And I will not give him to the wiles of the devil. No. Because he has nothing good to tell me today. Yeah. Believers, God can turn trials into testimony. Yeah. He can turn sighing into singing. Yeah. He can turn our pain into praises. Yeah. He can take a hard day and turn our heart into a heart like His. Yeah. God can make your crooked ways yeah. become straight. Yeah. Oh, my God is wonderful. Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe Lord help us, believers, yeah. to have a song in the midnight hour. Yeah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. After arresting and putting him in prison, he was guarded by four squad soldiers. So many soldiers they put around him. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. The reason is the Jews was afraid. He would break out. Do remember in chapter 5? An angel of the Lord broke him out with other disciples. He was chained to soldiers in his cell. Guarded, guards were posted in the cell with him. He did not, they did not want the same embarrassment again to happen like what happened before. In Acts 5, Peter was treated like a dangerous criminal. But no matter how tight their security was, oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, I'm telling you, man, no prison, no door, no chain, no shackle can hold the child of God. My God is still God, and He will deliver His servants. If you were under a lockdown today, in a prison of addiction, by habit, surely in your life, that impossible situation. 
sorry, impossible. I know, man. Oh, where's the man? I know, man. Oh, thank you, Lord. His name is Jesus. Oh, where's the man? What do you have, man? Oh, take your troubles to the Lord. Oh, bless the name of Jesus, man. I tell you, man, I say I know, man. His name is Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, bless the name of Jesus today. Oh, thank you, Lord. He was out of the palace. And Jesus said to him, Oh, bless the name of Jesus. He turned him around and said to him, Go back. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Today, maybe today, that Jesus sent an angel to tell you, You're going to live a bit longer today. Oh, bless the name of Jesus today. Oh, thank you, Lord. He said, Go back and tell him because of his power. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I have granted him an additional. Who do you say? An additional. He said, Not one. Not two. Not five. Not ten. But how much? Fifteen years of his life. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. He must be happy. He must be glad. For Jesus has appeared to gain 15 more years on his life. Oh, bless the name of Jesus today. Oh, thank you, Lord. My brethren and friend, just look how Jesus worked. He worked in, most che in mischievous ways. Oh, you see when prayer is given, it can produce sudden changes. Oh, bless the name of Jesus today. Verse 6, and when Herod was, would have brought him forth, the night Peter was sleeping, be, between soldiers, bound with chains, and the keepers before the door kept prison, kept the prison. Oh, bless the name of Jesus today. My beloved ones, God has a plan for all of us. Oh, bless the name of Jesus for our lives. And just like how God has a plan, the enemy also have a plan against our life. God was not finished with Peter. He still had a purpose for his life. Herod's plan against Peter was to kill him and to cause destruction to the church. The plan before Herod was to bring him to trial. Peter was sleeping you may be wondering how can he sleep at a time like this? But sometimes sleeping in the darkest hour can be a blessing. Yes. Peter reminds us that no matter what we are faced with, yes. you can still rest. Yes. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. We can rest, my brethren. Yes. Yes. Oh, in our darkest hour, we can rest yes. in the arms of Jesus. Yes. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Oh, Peter, remind us that no matter what we are facing, you still can rest. Peter, sleep. God was at work. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. In Matthew, verse, Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, Jesus said, Take therefore no thought of the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought of the things of itself. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Sometimes we lose sleep over some simple things. Oh, we sometimes, my brethren and friend, we lose sleep over fear, stress, anxiety, other issues that doesn't really matter. But believers only trust in the great I am. We will sleep like babies. I want to tell you that while we sleep, there is an adversary, the enemy, that have an agenda against your life. But at the same time, we serve a great God that never sleep nor slumber. God sits high and he looks low. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. And because the enemy set out to steal, kill, and destroy. But I want to tell you, my brethren, then there will be. I tell you, there is an unseen eyes that is watching you and me. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. It is watching every move that you and I make. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. He makes every, he watches every step you make. Every step, every step you take. Every road you walk. Every corner you turn. Oh, so don't believe you are going to get away. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. From the eyes of God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. So when the enemy tried to trample and God children, my beloved one, the battle is not yours. 
It is for the Lord. Today I want to tell you that that, that a response you that you and I how you and I respond in the life in the prison of life will determine our outcome will be. God may have sent us there just to be to help someone. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. And to let them see that God is an ever-present, all-sufficient, all-powerful, almighty God. God used to bring experience to get glory and to bring others to himself. You can be sure that he will move in power when the time is right and set you free. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Today I want to tell you, he set me free, and now I'm free. Hallelujah, I was born, but now I'm free. I will never walk out again when he washed my sins away. Much 
stars was placed at that set at that time, none of them knew what was taking place in that moment. Not even Peter. Peter was amazed. Oh, blessed and Freddy said he thought he was in a vision. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. My brethren and friend, when we put, when they were past the, in verse 10, when they were past the first and the second war, they came unto the gate, the iron gate, that leadeth unto the city, which was open to them of his own accord. And they went out and passed unto the, and through unto the street, and forthwith the angel depart from him. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Peter and the angels still had no had to go through guards to go out on the street. They passed the first and second. And lo and behold, they to open. But I tell you that we serve a miracle working God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, God shows his awesome power. The Bible said that when they reach at the gate, it opened on its own accord. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. And Peter walked free into the street. Oh, I'm telling you that he set me free. He burst the bars of prison for me. That's why I know that God is bigger than any circumstances today. God can rescue you from any situation. In Jeremiah 32, 27, he said, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Oh, I want to tell you that nothing is too hard for my God. For my God is mightyful. He's all powerful. Oh, the mighty God. The everlasting power. Oh, the Prince of Peace. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, God is going to work things out for you today. your trust in the Lord. Yes, yes leave everything to him. Yes. He will do whatever he, he pleases. Yes. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, Peter, verse 11, and Peter went out, was up, came to himself. And when Peter came to himself, he said, now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel and has delivered me out of the hand of Herod. And from the expectation of the people of the Jews, when it started to sink in, Peter realized that he now knows of a surety that God has sent his angel and delivered him out of the hands of Herod. And from the expectation, my brothers and sisters, oh, bless the name of Jesus, we serve a mighty God. When God are ready to work, man, he's going to work in spirit and in truth. He's going to work things out for you. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. In verse 12, And when he had considered the things, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together, praying. You see, they were praying for Peter. But they themselves didn't realize that God was about to do. Their faith was not so strong. Because they didn't believe they were on they didn't believe much. The Lord used Peter prison to teach Peter and members of the church to place their trust in God and leave the matter in his hands. Those world folks could not have delivered Peter by their powers. They could not have stormed that prison and secured his release. They did what they could to they prayed and God worked. This prison experience taught them all that God is greater than our needs. And he is worthy of our faith. As we pass through this life and as we move through our various troubles, trials, prison, we, pro we probably will not understand the reasons and purpose behind all we face. But my brethren, in Romans 8, 28, it tells me, oh, bless the name of Jesus. And we know that all things work together for 
our good. Oh, to them that love God. To them who are called according to his purpose. My brethren and friends, as we go through today, why does the, you say, why does, you might think, or you might question, why does the Lord allow these things in our life? I cannot answer that. But I can say this. God has a purpose for every situation. That purpose may be to grow in the Lord. It may be to help someone. Or simply, simply to glorify his holy name. That may be the sole purpose for the prison experience. So if you're in a prison today, God is going to deliver you. My friends, if you are not at a place where you need to be, oh, brethren, my friends, seek the Lord. The Lord works miracle. Let the Lord flex his muscle and this demonstrate his power in your life. Today, I want to invite you to come to Jesus. Lay your burden at his feet. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Lay it down at the altar.